and I always wondered like is this really gonna happen for me am I gonna have a chance to also be a mom driver's lessons what is up and welcome back to my channel it's your girl jennifer ross and i'm back at it again with yet another video and right now i am on my way to the bakery i'm gonna <clears throat> i'm gonna get benny and i some treats from there to start off our morning with we are very very busy in the house cleaning up doing like a deep clean we also have like two weeks off right now so yeah welcome to the vlog make sure to give it a thumbs up also make sure to subscribe to the channel and let festivities begin so amiga i am in my office and today is like the end of an era the era of the office i remember when we used to live in our old apartment and we had plans to move here that i was so excited to turn this room into an office and i got my office i worked here with so much joy it was amazing all those years but now the office era is coming to an end because we are switching the room up to a nursery this is going to be safi's little room by the way if you didn't already know yes the name of my baby is safar safar mansura safar means journey in arabic and Mansura means winner. So she is the winner of the journey. And in Dutch we say Vinares from the journey. So yes, that's what she is and that's her name. So yeah, this is gonna be her room and we need to get started on cleaning and repainting the room, freshening it up. We do rent this place so we can't go too crazy. So what we thought is we would just clean it and then repaint it white and just make it fun with accessories and stuff so i'm pretty sure that it's going to be a very beautiful room there are so many things that have come in for her room already and just for her and all that so i need to do like a little haul not a little a haul on everything that we have for her um but yeah she is so spoiled so blessed and so abundant in everything she has so many people caring for her so many people that gift us her so many things so it is amazing it really it truly is we're also going to ikea today to maybe buy her bed already we're gonna get ourselves a new mattress as well so there's so many things happening today and we are excited for it and i also have driver's lessons today because i think it's gonna be really easy if i have my car by the time i have a baby or at least by summer next year it will be so much easy to travel with her and all that i like to go to my parents and they do live over the border in the netherlands so i think it's going to be way easier for us if we have a car and yeah that's a little small little update on everything there is that to be hello dad hello grandma i'm not a grandma <laughs> Hi, how are you? Tell the amigas how you feel that you're gonna become a dad. I feel great. Yes, you do? Yes, I do. Did the dream come true? Do I, should I feel sad? Of course not. I'm just saying, like, tell, can you tell them, like, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good, amigas. Yes? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm happy. You're excited? Yes, I'm excited too. Okay, that's amazing. Only the preparations are... A lot. Yes. Yes, but we'll, we'll power through, we'll get this done. We have the next few, the next two weeks off. Uh, I have only, 
Huh? Yes. The only thing is, I have this Thursday is my only day that I have to work in the upcoming two weeks. And then all the other days I'm off. And that's also because I was supposed to go to Spain with my parents. They have like a bus trip to Spain at the moment or this Friday they're leaving. And I was supposed to come along, but I am no longer going just because I don't think it's the best thing for me to do right now. I don't think it's gonna be very comfortable and all that. So that's why I chose to stay home and work on the nursery work on everything that we need to prepare for Safar's arrival. Oh my God, I still can't believe that I'm gonna be a mom. It's just really, really crazy. But yeah, it's just beautiful. It's been a beautiful journey so far. I have so many things that I can say about it. And um, so far I've just really been enjoying the journey without even capturing anything filming anything so i'm planning to change that today and start like filming more because otherwise i won't have all this footage to look back on but the last few months have been really really nice to just look back on uh, and enjoy being pregnant having this baby growing inside of me i'm super grateful for the fact that my body can do this for the fact that they found out what was wrong with me last year which was the diabetes and that was that that was the thing that was in the way and also the fact that um i only have one fallopian, fallopian tube tube well fallopian tube i think it's called um it also had me a little bit concerned but that was not a problem at all we were able to get pregnant naturally without any help um medically if you get what i'm saying yeah, no, true. They did, but not like in um, IVF or any of that. We didn't have to have any of those treatments. So I got natural. I got pregnant naturally, and I hope to be able to deliver this baby naturally as well. So yeah, I think that's enough for now for talking. We're gonna like hurry up and continue with this room. Uh, it's already a little bit disheveled, but let me show you the before and then the, the after can only be super satisfying. So yeah, let's let's show you that. So, so this is our office. This was my part where I used to sit with my computer. Here I have storage and stuff going on. And then this part, we have our washing rack right here. But this was Benny's part. He used to draw here. And then later on, he used to also play piano here. And then here we have our little balcony. I'm not going to show you too much of the outside, but yeah, that's that. And then her room goes straight to the hallway. And then next to her room, you have our bedroom, which is in shambles as well right now. So yeah, I'm just quickly going to work here in her room, try to get it as empty as possible. So we have space and stuff to, to clean it and also paint it freshen it up and then we can start decorating putting things together for her so excited my mom was here last week and she gifted Safi so many things oh by the way Safi is her name for short like how do you say that like her shorter name Safi but anyways my mom bought her so many things as well so we have to put everything together and I'm so excited so yeah let's get started Okay, I'm gonna put like all my decor that used to be in here in um, moving boxes. That doesn't mean that they're all gonna go away, but when we have the room finished and our living room back together, I will figure out what decor I still wanna use in the house and the rest is all gonna go in storage for future purposes. We'll see, but for now, everything is gonna go in boxes until we have like a game plan on where we're gonna put things and what we wanna keep upstairs. I am 
done with my part of the room I also need to go and get ready for my driver's lessons but I thought I would show you a little after this part is for Benny it's where his desk and stuff used to be so he will take care of that later but this is my part it's all clear out look at this it's all empty my sister is on FaceTime hi sis <laughs> she says hey but she's in my ear but yes that's it you know let me show you one more time <laughs> okay amiga it's now a little bit later I showered and got myself ready I am now waiting for the bus by the way I'm really showing a little bit now can you see it <laughs> so happy about it but anyways I'm waiting for the bus because I'm heading to my driver's lessons now and then have my driver's lessons by the way I'm supposed to graduate in about two weeks so it's extra important that I do well today, so wish me luck. But we're on our way. Let's quickly do an outfit of the day, because why not? So here we have my outfit of the day. I'm wearing these black leggings, a black tank top. As you can see, the belly is showing a little bit. I'm wearing this heavy jacket on top, and then my, um, and then my Jordans. So far, I haven't bought any like pregnancy clothes yeah because I still fit in all my other clothes I like baggy clothes overall when I'm not pregnant so that comes in handy now because I lost a little bit of weight and also normally my clothes always have like a baggier fit so therefore I wasn't I didn't have to buy anything so far so yeah I'm gonna try to go this way as long as possible and just buy things when I really really need it maybe like a few pregnancy leggings and t-shirts but I think other than that I won't need much but we'll see because I'm due in February and by that time it's hard it's the heart of winter so we'll see maybe I will have to buy like a winter coat to keep myself warm but we'll see for now I'm good Tomorrow is painting day. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's a little late, so I don't want to make too much noise. And it's echoey. Yeah, it's echoey in here. But this is her room. Look at her room. Look at it. Oh my god. The first roll of paint on the wall. Oh, yeah. You barely see anything. <laughs> it's exactly the same color. Is that harsh? Okay. Jenny rolls. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Mommy. <laughs> 
What are you doing? I'm making our little bundle of joy for bed. Okay. I'm making her bed right now. Oh, so cute. I was just, <laughs> this is so dumb. This is hormones, this is hormones, guys. Honestly, I was I was watching my favorite movie and it's just a movie from my childhood. It brings me so much comfort, I love it. I watch it every fall and it's called The Princess Diaries. And at the end, there's always this song that I love so much and it's just, I was watching it now and now it just clicked with me what they were saying like the lyrics I'm gonna let you listen to it like listen to this And it's so accurate for Benny and I's situation. This is what I wanted for such a long time. And I always wondered, like, is this really going to happen for me? Am I going to have a chance to also be a mom? And, you know, like all of that. When you... When you have a difficult journey, sometimes you really wonder, like, is this really... Is this gonna happen for me? Is there a place for me to also be a mom? And am I gonna have the chance to also go through this journey? And I've learned that everything goes with divine timings. Miracles do happen um, when you believe in them, you know? And this is something that I have never gave up hope on. And I'm so, so happy and so grateful. <laughs> for benny that's it's just crazy how grateful i am and how blessed i feel i just was watching the movie and then by the end the song came up that i always have loved but i've never carefully listened to the lyrics or the lyrics have never applied to my situation as much as they do now and it's just sometimes it's just so beautiful how music fits your situation it's just crazy so yeah I've sent Benny the song and I told him like yeah this is how I feel about you and I'm very grateful for you and I want you to tell the people that you love and that you're grateful for that you are grateful for them right now when you still can because you never want to leave anything left on set if you get what I'm saying that got a little dark but yeah tell the people that you love that you love them every day as much as you can let them know that because why not you know <laughs> Hello. Hi. What are you doing? I'm organizing this closet. Okay. Hmm. Look at all the little socks. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a lot And how many weeks are you? I am 37 weeks right now. And we're going on to week 38. So, yeah. She can be here any moment now. Mm -hmm. so we need to start having her room in check. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing this, uh, this day. How are you feeling? Great, still. Yeah not sick or anything so that's i'm really grateful for that and I'm excited and also a little bit nervous about everything but i think that's normal this is my first baby so yeah yep i'm good i can't complain nervous excited mm -hmm. 
Sometimes I'm ner- some days I'm nervous, mm-hmm. but uh, like today I'm just okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a little nervous, but I think that's normal. Yes, it is. Are you missing the amigas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really am. Can't wait to get to vlogging again. No, I can't wait. I'm so excited to to share everything, where I've been, what I've been doing, all of that with with you guys. So yeah. Really missed vlogging. But I'm gonna get back into it um soon. So excited for that. I'm just excited for this journey to share everything. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Looks like you're getting your voice back. Yeah, finally. It's been time, huh? Hmm? It's been time. Yeah, it's been uh, gone for like a month. So uh, it's time for it to get back. Even the coughing is gone. The what? The coughing. Yeah. It's still there a little bit, but it's so. a lot better. Mm-hmm. It's a long way. Yeah. So excited for everything. Oh my god. Okay. Still have a lot to do? Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Look at these things. There, she has so many cute things. She's so spoiled. It's crazy. I love it. Okay, then I will let you do it. Thank you. Have fun organizing. Thank you so much. By the way, we know that she's not allowed to have any blankets and stuff in her bed, but we're just making it to just for the aesthetics for now. But when we get home, she it will be adjusted. It feels so real. off so far um, we finally finished it we weren't able to film everything every part of the process but the room is finished I'm now 38 weeks pregnant that means that Safar can make her arrival anytime now so let me show you around let's go so right here we have her little co-sleeper it has her clock we still need to hang that up it's gonna happen this weekend but we have her co-sleeper in here we also have my breast pump and uh, this is gonna go to our bedroom. So it's not gonna be staying in here. So this will be completely free. Then on this side, we have her wardrobe. We try to turn this thing. Yes. So we have our wardrobe. This is just one of her little teddy 
um jumpers that i really really love she has one in brown but that's in her hospital bag because she's gonna be wearing that when she comes home on top of her wardrobe we have her miffy lamp in dutch we say nantje but i know that in english it is miffy this has been a lamp that is really really sentimental to me since i had one when i was little but mine was really old-fashioned it was just like a like how do you say that a cap like a cap a normal lamp with miffy drawn on it or something or displayed on it but i thought this one was so so cute it is it is on every pinterest picture and i am obsessed so i definitely wanted to get that for her i gifted this thing to so many friends of mine that had children before so of course i needed it for my own daughter as well then here we have two piggy banks the silver one she got from uka at our baby shower so thank you auntie uka and the pink one she got from auntie nose i thought they were both so so cute and one of them even has Surinamese money in it that Dana put in there for her. So thank you, Auntie Dana, as well. Then in her closet, we have so many things ready for her. Let me turn on this light so you can see a little bit better. She has her little outfits ready for her. Uh, everything is divided in sizes so that it's easier for me to organize. Um, but yeah, she has so many things, outfits, stuff to wash her clothes with, toys. Uh, what do we have in here so many things you know like all type of things we have like um how do you say that like a thing to carry her on your body she has different type of shoes these little vans that benny bought her and they are the cutest thing alive like look at this look at this i cannot <laughs> this she got from my first ever friend Coretti. Like her first Air Force shoes. <laughs> How cute are these? Like so, so cute. I still need to get her some Converse as well. Because I feel like that's your top three that you really need for every single child, you know? Yeah, and down here we have like dolls and stuff. Like what else do we have? She has like some drawer compartments as well. In the first one she has a whole bunch of socks and things. Like things to wipe her mouth, things like that. In the second one, she has a uh, little romper, slippers, something that you can wear to breastfeed for more privacy. Still, there's still space in there. And in the bottom drawers, she has a lot of clothes um, that are for when she's li a little bit older. But I have them all organized. Uh oh. I have them all organized according to size, so it's not overwhelming for me. Then here on the side, we have her bottle warmer, her bottles, and a bag or a bag, a box of baby wipes, I think. Yeah, baby wipes. And here we have her diaper container, which will be moved later on. Show them how it works. So you throw the diaper in here and then you turn it like this. And then the diaper will go in there. And then we also have grandma bought her a lavender scented trash bags so that it doesn't stink up the room, which is very, very bougie, you know? Okay, then we move on to here. <clears throat> because we rent this house, we have these posters and we made sure to frame them um, to make her room like still calm, but really pretty. Give like some decoration to the room. Uh, and I got these from the Zenio. Then on this side, we have her little bed. And of course, yeah, the Miffy team is very, very prominent in her room. She has like a bigger Miffy and a smaller Miffy. And the, in the week, during the weekend, we also made her bed. So this is all from Ikea. All her bedding is from Ikea. We know that she is not allowed to have a pillow yet but we wanted to do it for the aesthetics and for the video but um this all will be adjusted in a way that it's safe for her so don't worry but we wanted to just have the bed complete and for you know aesthetic purposes and for this video but yeah we are aware okay then we have this little mobile it also has like a music box that we do not have adjusted to it yet but it is the cutest thing we have a little bear team going on for her room as you may have noticed so i thought this was the perfect thing she got this from auntie dana as well 
perfectly chosen and it matches the room so well i even think like this thing that it hangs on matches her room so well because her bed has special detailing it is wide with this uh, like wooden things even the knobs from her bottom drawer have like brown wooden knobs on the bottom drawer of her bed she has all her bedding supplies all her uh, washcloths um, towels everything body related and related to her bed we put down here so yeah that's that we have a little rock for her that Benny chose it's a little bit luxurious and it looks really cute and girly so we love that for her so this is part of her swing that we will put together when she gets home the other part of it is here here you go she got this one from grandma and it will be put together for her when she gets home it has like multiple settings on it that you can swing it and yeah like it's very modern and cute the music oh and it also has music for her so perfect then here we have her high chair um this she won't be needing it right away but you can um adjust the chair so that she can lay in it so that's also a possibility she has multiple things that she can lay in so that's great but also when she's older she can sit, sit in this shit in this she can sit in this until she is i think four to five years old so that's great on this side we have her bath toppy <laughs> like um yeah it's in this caramel orangey color uh it has a matching um bucket that you can use to fill up the bathtub and all that she got both of these from grandma she's really grandma's little baby um and then here we have her changing table um we have like a few things set up for her already she has like some um teddies that she got from my mom when they went on a cruise on the wonders of the seas of royal caribbean they brought her these two so she has that she has a little lamp that you are supposed to be able to turn on like this so it doesn't do what it has to do okay and then she has like a little i don't know how do you call these things i don't know but to keep her feet warm she has other ones as well in her diaper bag and then these so cute and then here we have like a few diapers set up for her we have a little box for baby wipes you can open and close another one to organize things with but we will see about that when she's almost home this we will take the plastic off when she is almost home but let me show you it's in this caramel beautiful luxurious color also she got this from grandma grandma did so much for her why stay on then here we have like a lot of diapers and um baby wipes ready for her so that's that we have like more in our basement that are also she has for the first three months i believe so that's great then here we have a whole drawer full of stuff to take care of her um like all the body stuff we have some baby perfumes but these things to clean her ear she has like a whole bunch of um uh pacifiers all types of stuff and on this drawer i think there's not that much in here oh she has like a lot of things for her hair she has the a baby monitor like two of them a baby monitor and also the nanny pro that she got from ayesha which is so nice ayesha and kaya so thank you guys we appreciate it so much oh this is also so cute this is also something that she got from auntie uka like look at this so adorable her first jewelry set and this one she got from jessica and Casper. like look gold so pretty so yeah the little girl is spoiled and then here she has like a whole bunch of hair things like beads i don't know when she's gonna be using these not for a very long time she has these she has so many things like it's crazy look look at how many things she has well hopefully she has hair <laughs> and here we have more supplies for her 
diaper bin, scented trash bags and individual trash bags so that it doesn't stink up her room. So that's that. We have this board that Benny is gonna hang up during the weekend. It will be here and it will have all her feeding schedules, um, documentary or things that are important and maybe also some artwork, but we need to finish that up. And then last but not least, we have her curtains. These are from Ikea. We have these curtain holders that I bought from AliExpress. They are super cute, also in the little bear theme, which I love. Like, look at this. It's just a perfect finishing touch. And that's her room. This is the final reveal. This is everything for now. Um, if you want to know something specific where something is from, let me know and then I will try to link it. But that's it. We are ready for our baby. And I am just so happy and grateful that the room turned out just the way I wanted it to. It's the Pinterest room that I had in mind. And I am just beyond grateful that we were able to buy everything just the way that I want it. So yeah, thank you for visiting. And we will see you soon with baby Sophie. Bye.